Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for 911 Operator. As we continue our run through here with Anchorage, Alaska, duty around Chapter 5, duty number 13 is coming up next. Lucky 13. Uh, this is going to be good for us, I'm sure. No problems whatsoever. Um, we do have an injured police officer. We have a fireman back, though. You can come back into our fire uh, engine here, and that'll help with that a little bit. Um, you're down by one. We could split up the SWAT team just to make sure you still have a pair at least. That might be the right move. Yeah, we'll just temporarily split you out, put you there just to make sure, because I'm three should be okay. That's still a good number of people to kind of help swarm in as needed. Uh, we do have enough money, I believe, for one of the helicopters if we want to go that route. And I had been wanting to get the medevac. Now, this is going to be very expensive. It's going to take up pretty much all of our money. Uh, we don't have any actual medical crew available to, to put in there, but I think we'll be okay. So we're going to go ahead and grab the medical copter just because I think it's cool. New team, medical copter. This can transport one play person. Yes. Um, we do need to get us a couple. Wow, you're driving and first aid is amazing. So we're definitely grabbing you. Person number one, there is our pilot, Miss Carmen Marin here. And then your first aid is also awesome. So we'll grab you and put you there. Anything we want to send with you guys, honestly, probably if we have enough money, send some of the critical like defibrillator and chest compression stuff. Cause this is going to be like our extremely mobile hospital. Uh, we may even send you with a first aid kit to help with that. Anything else medical related that would be useful. don't think so so honestly we might just grab another medical kit just to make sure that you guys are as quick as possible to be able to help with stuff all right cool nice that is awesome i like the fact that we have us uh, and a helicopter finally i mean it spent all of our money i've been saving up for that this whole time but i feel pretty good about that um other than that i think we're good a helicopter really doesn't need to be anywhere specific i don't think I think where it's at because it's gonna be able to zip around real quickly so let's go ahead and go i'm, I'm pretty excited that we've got the helicopter now all right we got us a biting incident well that's obviously not gonna be super critical but we'll send both of you guys over there that should be okay Uh, looks like that is a house on fire. We'll send you. We'll send you there. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Hello, I've seen a fire. Can you do something with it? What's the address you're calling from, ma'am? In front of. What's burning, ma'am? Just garbage. Is the garbage in some sort of container or dumpster? No, it's a pile of rubbish lying on the ground. Is the fire spreading? No, huh. Now it looks like it's burning out. So, are there any inflammable materials around the fire? Uh, no, I don't see any. So, how big is this fire? I don't know. There's a lot of thick smoke. I can barely see the fire. Okay, I'm sending the fire department right now. Good. Bye. I'll go ahead and send them just in case. It could always be worse than she she perceives. Spot of hurt by rubble. Where'd that come from? Uh, slow down. Um, okay, we'll send you guys over there. You guys can go help a little bit. You guys can go up there. Got a damaged bridge down here. Um, you head down to the damaged bridge. Trapped in an elevator. Fun. Okay, you turn around, go there. You help with the... 
bridge. You'll be able to handle the fire situation here, my friend. I mean, sort of, yeah. Not very well. What else we got here? Hurt by rubble. We got a couple hurt by rubbles. What is going on with all the rubble? Um, you start making your way up there. We'll send the other fire truck here in a moment. My goodness, we are getting all sorts of fire related things. Are you guys not able to resolve this? Okay, no, you are. Just you aren't technically a technical crew. Should have swapped those two around, but I think we can do better right now. Okay, you are done. I'm actually going to have you go down to the technical crew help with them because we need to free up this fire truck completely. A vehicle theft. We'll send you down there for the vehicle theft. Are you? Okay, you're done. Okay, cool. Then fire truck here. You head that way. I need you to get out of the way so I can find the fire truck, please. Where's the fire truck? You go there. Uh, hurt by rubble. You. Oh, why do you have a? Oh, that's the. I thought that's this fire truck had a certain person on board. That's odd. Uh, you actually come help with the technical. For the moment, um, uh, you go help with this. Right away. Nine one one. What's your emergency? My car was stolen. When was your car stolen? I just saw my car is gone, but I have no idea when exactly that happened. Sir, it isn't an emergency case. Please report the theft to the nearest police station. I thought that's the number to the police, isn't it? Just send somebody, okay? I haven't got time to look for the cops. Sir, please do not block the line. Your case is not urgent enough to call 911. Oh, really? Somebody stole my car and that's nothing for you. You're responsible for sending the police here. I'll file a complaint. Maybe that'll be urgent enough for you. Let me decide what I'm responsible for, okay? You're wasting the time of a 911 operator and tying up emergency lines. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's awesome. All right. Um, accident on bridge. What's the police need there for? There's a suspect. Oh, a car accident. Okay, fair enough. Um, technical job. Hopefully, we can free this up soon. Actually, can we grab patrol? Uh, where's my technical? I'm listening. I thought I had you sent coming over here. Maybe I misclicked. Okay. You are dealing with a heavily injured person. Once the ambulance gets there, that'll help out a lot. Still got we got somebody coming here. Finally, devastated. Devastated? What is a devastated bus stop? Devastated bus stop? I don't know what a devastated bus stop is. All right, you are helping with the injured. The ambulance is almost there. Uh, we might actually, okay, we're going to have three injured. So we're going to go ahead and finally send out the helicopter. We're holding on to it just in case we wait to see if we needed it. But with three injured, we will need something there. That's the stolen car. We can ignore that. I mean, I guess if we have a patrol guy available, we'll send you over there. I think we're still going to lose some rep, but maybe we can minimize the reputation that we lose. We got a fire alarm here. Nobody to send at the moment. The uh, ambulance is there, is, uh, is busy. You're going, uh, I think all of our ambulances have fire equipment, so we'll send you there just to help start, maybe. Do our police cars have, I think they have technical. I don't think they have fire related stuff. Okay, nope, nope, cancel that. You are. This guy is available to go there. Actually, our other fire truck apparently is on patrol, so you can head up that way. Help that guy. Which means the ambulance can actually hold off a minute. We do have a water leak over here, of all things. How long do we have until this is resolved? I mean, the fire truck, because the ambulance isn't there yet, the fire truck is helping with medical, so we still got quite a few seconds on that. 
Oh, you didn't actually have an, end up having a transporting tub body. I, I, was hoping, I was thinking the three injured might warrant that, but it looks like that is not the case. How many injured do you have down here? Probably just one. Heavily injured, but the ambulance is almost there. There's no point in sending you. Um, just zip over here. So you are going here, right? Yeah. And you are going to the fire in the warehouse. How big of a... This is a technical job, it says. So actually, I guess we sent the right crew for that. All right, we got a construction accident. Are you help with the construction incident. Are you guys able... You guys are going to take a while to resolve that. So I do have the fire crew going up there to help. So I think that is the right move. Um, got a water leak there still. How long do you got left? 68 seconds. You got a long time. A lot of technical jobs right now. Um, you can probably go help with the water leak. What's this? Gas explosion. Okay. Well, we're going to need some sort of medical, I'm sure, with that gas explosion of all things. So we'll send you up there. In fact, we'll send the SWAT team just because they're close, just to kind of evaluate the situation. You're still dealing with the fire. We got a fire truck actually proper coming up to your way. You're coming down to there. 40 seconds on that one. So that one should be resolved by those guys. That should be fine. Now we need more fire related stuff. Okay, you're available. Come up here to that. Nine one one, what's your emergency? Uh hello. There was a car collision. Where did the collision happen? Around. <laughs> Alright, let's send one of these guys up just to evaluate. Are there any injuries? No, no one. When did it happen? Uh yesterday evening. Sir, you don't call nine one one for a car accident that happened yesterday. But the car's crashed and the bumper. Sir, please contact your body shop or go to the nearest police station if you have any complaints. Okay. Bye. <laughs> All right, we'll ignore that one. All right. Everything else is looking okay. We come and resolve that. We're going to resolve that. We do have an incident up here. Accident by drunk driver. You head up there. We probably will need a transport, so we'll send you as well. And then we'll send the ambulance. Our truck is available as soon as you're down more centrally located. Actually, you can come over to that, please. Uh, water leak. Yes, go help with the water leak if you can. Oh, we don't actually have medical coming here. Um, the guy's just injured, injured, so I don't know if we'll actually need transport. We'll send you up that way just in case we need it. By the time you get there, it should be resolved and we'll know. Actually, before you even get there, we'll know if he's actually transported or not. Car bump. Um, you're coming down to help with that. Motorcycle, come help with the car bump, I guess. I doubt anybody needs to be arrested there. All right, we got a hurt by rubble. I guess we will send... Hey, what is this? Is this a technical job? Yes. And this is a technical job. Well, we'll just have to send you up there anyway. We do have three injured, so we'll send the big ambulance that way. Everything else looks like it's okay. Everybody's good. Lots of cases being solved. You come over to the water leak as well. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Hi. There is a strange car parked here. Could you check it? Where's the car parked? It's a restricted area. So what is it about this parked car that has you concerned? Private cars are not allowed to park here. Why is that, sir? It's for safety reasons. Maybe I'm overreacting, but could you send the police to check it? Can you give me the address of where this car is parked, sir? Right, you go over there and figure that out. 
I'll have an officer check it out, and they'll decide if the car should be towed. Thank you. Bye. I mean, it's probably not critical, but if it is a safety issue, then sure, why not? All right, so you got go, you go in there. You're good. Everybody else is good. This guy's coming down here to help with that. Uh, so far, so good. I'm going to move you kind of down this way a little bit. You're still resolving this. You're actually trying to help with the medical at the moment. This is a drug dealer. All right, we'll send our actual police car. Speaking of police cars, you actually are resolving this. So we might not even need, in fact, we won't need the fire guy because this guy will be, these things will be resolved before they even gets there. All right, what we got now? Red light offense. Okay. Send you over there to deal with that. Loud party. Send in the SWAT team. What are the orders? Affirmative. Drug dealer. Eh, one or two cops. <laughs> Loud party. SWAT team. Go, go, go. I like that's That's balanced. All right. Gas explosion. Well, we don't have a close by medical. We'll send you, and then we'll also send you. We will send you for this. It's technical. No, it's actually a large, large fire. So we need you to come over here as well. Everything else is looking okay. How many how many drug dealers are there? Just one. Okay. So we should be able to handle that with the, the one car. Ready for the next case. Ready for the next case. All right, what we got here? We got a biting incident. Well, we'll send you there. I guess we'll send the ambulance to help out in case there needs to be medical care. All right, there is more than one, unfortunately, so we will need to get another person there. Um, honestly... Might just be just as fast for the, hel the helicopter to zip back and forth twice. Uh, there is a medical here. Game addict? Not sure if that's what I think that sounds like. What is this? Road breach. You go help with the road breach. Nine one one. what's your emergency? Again? So you've had this happen before? I don't remember exactly. Maybe two weeks ago? We're political journalists. We're used to it. According to our policy, we report all threats to 911, but in my opinion, it's usually unnecessary. How did you receive the threat? The letter came to our office. Who sends paper letters these days? Usually we receive death threats by email. Do you want me to read it? Yes, please. It's rather short. Curiosity is a fatal sin. So what's the address for your office? Okay, I'll have officers attend and look into it. Doesn't feel like much of a death threat to me. Necessary, but it's your call. I will wait for them with a letter. Well, then why'd you call me? I mean, I get that it's your policy, but come on now. Construction incident, uh, ambulance head down there, you head down there. Standing by. We got a car bump. I'm heading over there. Do you actually have more than, more people that are injured? No, just the one. So we should be able to resolve this pretty quickly here. We do have a collapsed house up here, okay. You head up there, you also head up there. So this game addict, is this, like, what, there's two people. How are they, what is, what does that even mean? I don't understand. What is this? Oh, it's poisoned. Oh. Okay. 
Uh, send more people, because that's critical. You turn around and go help with the poisoning. What in the world? That is extreme. Ready for the next case. We need an ambulance here. Police transport needed. Standing by. Ready for the next case. Okay, that was extreme. All right, how bad? We got Mattis 2 for the fire up here. Uh, is that the one that was was resolved because it went out? No, I did send the fire department. I don't know why we got that one negative. Okay, maybe just because we answered it improperly. Everything else we got positive for except for the one down here, which was the letter with the poison. Why did we get negative for this? I mean, we did send the officers and it was in fact necessary. Hmm. Oh, officer should have put the officers in quarantine and decontaminate it. Got it. The operator, I should, I should say. Okay, well then we should have asked better questions. Does this tell us what we should have done here as well? No, I don't say anything so. At least this one down here, we realized, I mean, we didn't get that much of a negative, but there was some things we could have done that'd be a little bit better. Uh, still 93,000 bucks, not bad. Uh, that's, a, that's a good, and a few promotions still, so good with that. All right, let's start the next one. Duty number 14 is our, yep, our officer is back, ready to go. We'll put you, actually, we'll put you back over here. We'll put you back there with your partner and give you this. And actually, I do want to go ahead and give you another med kit, please. Oh, sorry. Me and my tabbing out automatically. I wish I should could lock the mouse to the screen, but I don't think there's an option for that. All right, everything else looks okay. Uh, 100,000 bucks. We could buy another crew of some sort, I suppose. Honestly, I kind of want to save up for another helicopter of some sort. Maybe like a fire. Helicopter, they can zip around and put out fires very quickly. Could also, we're not too far off from like a field hospital, which would be interesting. Yeah, I think we'll go with the crew that we got. Try and save up a little bit of money again. It may be easier said than done, but I just don't know that we critically need any of these other things. So we'll go with this for now. I mean, this thing was able to transport a few people very quickly, so that's very convenient. I'm pretty happy with having that. All right, we got us uh, a construction incident. We'll send you you, and we'll send you. 911, what's your emergency? Oh, you're gonna have an emergency real soon. What do you mean? I mean that you should look out your window. See ya. What just happened? Uh, okay, we got a construction incident. We're gonna send you, and we're gonna send you for now. We have, you already being handled. What just happened here? Okay. Blown up car, send the police, send you. Send you, send the technical, probably send the fire, send everybody! Okay, that is just great. So it is just a fire, a car fire, no injuries that we can see right now. Fire near gas station, so maybe... Uh... You go up there to help with that. You're going to come up there and help with that as well. We'll send a fire truck as soon as we can, but I definitely feel like we need to resolve this. As soon as the ambulance gets there, that'll help those guys to be able to clear out the obstacle quicker. I mean, truth be told, this guy is probably more valuable here than the car, than the, ex the explosion. To free up this guy to be able to zip up there. I think that's probably the better move. Nine one one, what's your emergency? Now that you know I'm not joking, the next bomb will blow up at 
You have five minutes to evacuate. This guy's crazy. What are your terms? Do as I say when I call you next time. I'm grabbing all room, just getting out. Of the crazy dude. Yeah, I'm leaving actually. That's going to be a 9 0. Trouble's going to the other 10 1. All right, traffic Report. accident. You're going up there. Reporting. Heading over there. I'm going to have you help with the traffic accident. These guys are just there to. Actually, well, you know what? You help, how about you go over there just in case? We need you there. You go help with the traffic accident. You're already transporting. Uh, we got 88 seconds left on that with two vehicles there. That's pretty rough. We still trying to clean up this. 85 seconds left there. I don't think we need the helicopter here, actually. So, um, the helicopter can come over to the traffic accident. Just because I get there quicker. Standing by. Do need a medical transport there. This is a sharp tool injury. Uh, this other medical does not need to be here either. You can come over here to transport over there. Um... You have a little bit of medical, so how about you zip up there and try to help out? Alright, you are free to go. Are you already going somewhere? I can't remember if I already sent you somewhere. You are, okay. Traffic accident, you're helping with that. Just in case we need your help, zip up there. You're good. Please car come down to this way in case we need help here. You are... about to die. Yeah, we're not going to get everybody back before before the bomb goes off. This is bad. So you actually head over there because we're going to have some injuries, it looks like. Same with you. We're going to have probably a fire of some sort. we got a fire in our gas. We still haven't resolved the fire in our gas station. Um, I guess head up there for a second. It's a crazy dude again. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Hello. Um, no, never mind. There's a strange car at the back of our building. Is that car parked in a prohibited area? It's private property. Is this a residence or a business? It's an insurance company office building. Could you give me the address, sir? Yes, we're at. Um, I mean, this is the bomb dude, right? Surely. Did you see who parked the car there? That's the thing. Nobody saw it being parked, and it's not supposed to be there. It's a restricted area. Did you check that car? Not yet. I thought it might be dangerous. There's all kinds of stories about bombs going off in the news. I thought I'd call 911 first. Sir, tell everyone to stay away from the area. Well, okay. Do you think it's that important? You should start to evacuate the building immediately. Sound the fire alarm now. Oh my god, do you think it's one of those bombs? Should I tell people? Yes, tell everyone and evacuate the building as fast as possible. I mean, it might not be, but I mean, at this point. Just get out of the building, wait in the safe zone for emergency services to arrive. They'll be there shortly. Okay, I'm going. Thank you. Okay, uh, what's going on over here? I mean, more bomb stuff. Lots of officers injured. Everything's going bad. Everything's going crazy. Uh, you are heading over there. You're heading up to there. You are heading up to there. You can try and come help with this collapsed house as best you can until more help can arrive. You uh, could probably help with that as well. Um, you are trying to help with this technical traffic accident, which may be not the best use of your time, but what else are we going to do? We have a stabbing there. Where are you going? You're going down to there. You are not doing anything. Go help with the stabbing if you can. Oh, we got us. Of course, we got bombs going off. First is earthquakes, now it's bombs. All right, so the collapsed house, these guys are helping give medical care. That's good. Uh, you need to go help with the collapsed house, I suppose. 
You are over here helping with the fire. That's good. You, there's a gas explosion here, man. There are explosions everywhere. What is going on? Everything's going crazy. Man, that's going to be take a while. There's four guys there, and it's still going to take us forever to resolve that. It's probably got too big for us. Um, you guys are trying to help there. There's really not much we can do right now. I mean, we're just trying to stabilize our own officers at this point. One of these ambulances needs to zip over there as soon as they're available. Uh, since we know there's injuries here, you are, yeah, you are heading there. Right now, we don't know that there's injuries here yet. We've got the police uh, vehicle going there. Is that our dog? No, this is our dog up here. We probably should have sent the dog, maybe. It could, I don't know if our dog's a bob sniffing dog or a drug sniffing dog or both. Um, as soon as you resolve, you need to zip over probably to the gas explosion. Is this being resolved? I mean, sort of. Maybe you're more important here at the gas explosion. Same with you. We do have a car bump down there, which is really not that critical right this second. You're still dealing with this massive, massive blaze, apparently, which is crazy. You're still dealing with helping with some injuries over here with some obstacles. Man, we got crazy stuff going on everywhere. You are, I mean, you're close to being resolved. what's your emergency? You should listen to my demands, or you will have much bigger problems than you already have. Okay, what are your demands? I want my demands presented to the media. All the deportations of the so-called illegal immigrants must stop now, or more bombs will follow. If you want to send us back to the war zone, I will bring the war zone to you. I want to see my demands on every TV station in the city in five minutes. So, you're doing this for political reasons? Yes. I do it for all the refugees that are not welcome here. For all those that have no voice. I am the one that you have to reckon with. You'll only make things worse this way. Far, far worse. You have to stop it now for the sake of your cause. I will take the blame! Don't you get it? Something! has to be done. Something radical. Only radical actions can bring radical change. Okay, I I'll do what I can to arrange what you're asking for. Hmm. Good boy. <coughs> then, I want a public declaration from the president that not a single person will be deported from the country. I I'm sorry, C could you repeat that? I said, I want the president to say that no one will be deported. Okay, I will pass that on too. You have five minutes. I'll talk to you later. I guess I should have kept him talking more. Is it actually going to get us an address? Okay, take it as an address. Um, we need, we don't have anybody that can go. All right, we got, I need to think about this for a second. Um, what are the orders? Hmm. I've got to send somebody here. You're dealing with this because I don't know what this is. 36 seconds to blow up. Okay, what? Why are you? <laughs> okay, um. What do I do here? I'm listening. I mean, you guys are still dealing with rubble and things. I'm listening. You've got nine seconds. I mean, you're the closest. I think we just wait this nine seconds here and send you down there because I think you're going to get there way quicker than anybody. Everything is bad. Didn't actually think we were going to need a bomb crew in Anchorage, Alaska. Standing by. 
All right, you zip down here as quickly as possible. I mean, you're still done with that fire. It's going to take you forever. I mean, we've got a lot of people helping with these obstacles, but too little too fast at this point. Um, you're still coming down to here. You are going over to there. I mean, how many engines do we have here? Looks like these are all resolved, so the place copters should come over there to help with transport. Everything is awful. Sorry. <laughs> uh, what is this? Man, what is with all the collapsed houses? Possible bomb. We are not going to get this bomb cleared in time, are we? Because we're not even helping. Hmm. I don't know what we can do here. Uh, you need to help with something. I guess come down to the collapsed building for right now. All right, who needs an ambulance? You do. Okay, I guess go there first. So this is about to blow up, huh? I mean, you got 39 seconds to resolve this, but we probably will need an ambulance once it's done. These, I don't think will need an ambulance. So honestly, this guy probably could bail out of here. Um, so don't, I mean, he's helping with a few things, but maybe he can help resolve one of these other things a little bit quicker. All right, we have shots fired. Uh, we don't have much left. We've got to send everybody we can down here, though. How many people? Oh, there's just one guy. One crazy psycho guy. Um, send more police officers. That's fine. Of course, we have an officer down. Um, we don't have an ambulance right now. You're heading over there. Once the helicopter gets free, we should be able to send it down there. We have got things going wrong everywhere. You are free to do something. Water leak, probably not. Gas explosion, I mean, yes. Collapsed house, probably. More critical. Actually, this collapsed house has been a long, longer, so we'll go there first. You're still helping with this collapsed house as best you can. You're actually not that far off from being done. I mean, at this point, we're about to get a blow up. Yeah. Oh my goodness, everything is wrong. You're going to have to help with that then. All right, the bomber has been heavily injured. Hopefully that's the end of that. Medical transport needed. The helicopter is almost freed up. We'll be able to zip back over there. It's just one. It's just one. I have to go slow here because there's too much going on. Wow. All right. If the guy's injured, we actually don't need you there after all. Come to one of these two because we actually don't need you here. If this guy's already... Yeah, he's just heavily injured. So for right now, we're just providing medical care. All right, you're going to zip over here to the stabbing, I guess, as soon as you get resolved. Hopefully that's the last of the bombs, though. As soon as you get done there, this guy can help zip over to this collapsed house, I hope. Ugh. More water leaks. Water leaks don't feel as critical. You're going to head over to that. Alright, almost to the glass explosion there. We still need medical here. Location. 
247 West Monroe. You're not resolved yet? Still dealing with the fire? 31 seconds left on the fire, okay. All right, what well, was resolved? Okay, you're done there. All right, let's stop for a second. I've got to figure out this stuff out. Okay, chemical hazard, collapsed house, drunk driver. I guess come down to the drunk driver for right now. I don't know if that's the most critical, but still feels important. Almost done with, the, with this guy. Honestly, we don't need the police car here. So this is that one. You can actually come up with one of these other things. Honestly, go to the collapsed house here. You're probably going to be able to help with that just fine. At least get some initial emergency care. Uh, how long until this guy's ready to be transported here? 60 seconds. Wow. I, I expected him just to pick him up and zip along. Okay, no, they did just finish that. Okay. Uh, police car here, um, I guess just zip down to the water lake. There's really not much else for you to do right this second. I do have the chemical hazard here. I need to get this guy over to that probably. Uh, is this one resolved? No, this is just still guys still take, dealing with this. It's just the injury though. Uh, it is a heavy injury. We will need to send an ambulance over there as soon as possible. Oh, you're already going there. That's fine. You guys not done yet? You're trying to help with the fire. Uh, you know what? You don't need to be helping with the fire. Don't get me wrong, I get it's kind of bad, but you need to help. You need to go back to the hospital, which is... Where's the hospital? Um, all right, well, now you got you got room in your, your van. So come over here and pick that guy up. Right. Did I grab the wrong one? Waiting for instructions. You, go over there. Help this that guy. I think I hit the wrong one. All right, you're done up there. You're good. You're good. Helicopter's zipping along. We will need to come down here and pick up these guys. We've got two very heavily injured guys down there. Yep. Actually, you've got more space. Zip down to there. We'll have the helicopter come over here and pick up that one guy. You're done up there. Zip down to that collapsed building, please. You're done there. Go deal with one of these water leaks, I suppose. Just because they're annoying at this point. We're done here. Everything is off all. You guys are done. You can go deal with this chemical hazard, please. This ambulance is dropping on the way so they can then come over here and help with this. We do have medical transport. We're going to have medical transport come in there in just a second. Yep, that's you. Zip over there, please. You are available to come help with something. Um, help with that. As soon as this ambulance over here drops off, go grab that. You're still dealing with this water leak, which, I mean, it's only going to take you a few seconds. That's not a big deal. We got here. Accident on a bridge. We always keep keep getting accidents on that bridge. That bridge is dangerous. Very, very dangerous. You're still dealing with this water leak. That's almost done. I'll be able to send you over there here in a moment. You're dealing with what was the situation? Accident by drunk driver. You're probably gonna have to arrest somebody. You're dealing with some injuries right now. This guy's coming to help you. Technical job need for medical assistance three. We do need to send somebody there as soon as possible. You guys are trying to help finish up these injured guys. They're almost done with that. You are going over there. That's actually you don't need to go over there if that's where you're going. Come down to there, please. The helicopter should be able to transport the one guy that needs to be transported. You head over to one of these things. Probably the chemicals on fire. In fact, I guess you can't leave until you get done. Uh, anything else going crazy right now? This one's resolved, so police car here can come over and help with that. Or police motorcycles, I should say. Uh, 
As soon as the helicopter gets there, hopefully they can transport that. This fire truck can start zipping along where it needs to go. This one's almost resolved, yes. That one's almost resolved. You are done. Go. I mean, go look at the fire in the parking lot. I don't know how much you're going to be able to help. You need to start helping with one of these. Probably the chemicals on fire here. Drug overdose. That's great. You're done. Um, don't know where to send you right now. You've got medical on board. You go there. You go there. You are also available. Just come over and help with that just in case for now. I think everything's got somebody going to it, right? Uh, you're not going anywhere. You go to the fire in the parking lot. You actually go to the chemicals on fire. You already are. That's good. You come down here and help with the accident, I suppose. You're just dealing with some injuries, which you need help, honestly, but we don't have a free ambulance right now. You are helping with that injury, which should be done here momentarily. All right, you're heading to the hospital. That's good. Do you have a loud party up there, of all things? Motorcycle, how about you actually head up there? Reporting. Guess you're going to that? Yeah. I think everybody's going somewhere. We got injuries there we're dealing with. We don't. We need one medical assistance there. You know what? How? How about you head head down there? Try to help with that real quick. You're done up there. Zip over here to help with this, please. Helicopter, come down here. Actually, you can go back to the hospital after all. We got a family abuse. Great. Um. You're closer. Understood. Still have a place car going here, but should happen soon. What are you guys helping with? Injuries still? But you're almost resolved, and we still got the obstacle. As soon as this guy drops off his sub a suspect, I guess he can come back down here. You're free to go help with that. You come back down here, help with that. Seems like there's a suspect needs arrested. How are you doing? You're trying to help as best as you possibly can. Still heavily injured, so probably need to send you over there as soon as you're done dropping off. 97% efficiency so far. I mean, that's not bad. You guys are trying to battle the fire. Once the fire trucks get there, that will be helpful. Um, uh, we don't need both of you there, but I think it'll be okay. Thankfully, the helicopter's there to help with this. You're heading down there. You're there. It looks like everything's resolved right now. Like, being, being resolved, I should say. You're still trying to deal with that, but it's taking you a while. Ambulance is almost ready to be zipping down there. We can speed up a little bit here, I think. All right, we got sharp tool injury. Great. How bad is this? This looks like just a minor injury. We're going to send you there instead. You can come down here and help hopefully transport that guy, most likely. As far as this is concerned, okay, it's getting there. These guys are just dealing with this mess. No big deal. How are we doing here? Resolved, resolved, resolved. So we're just dealing with the obstacle. Honestly, the ambulance doesn't need to be there for that at this point. There's a fire here. I think that's going to take us a while, actually. We actually have a gunshot wound, of all things. Okay. Uh, where's our helicopter? 
Where is our helicopter? It's right here? Waiting for instructions. Yep. Go help with the gunshot wound. Actually, almost got that resolved before this guy even gets there, but we still probably need to transport that guy, so that's probably still good. You're dealing with a huge fire, apparently, or at least big enough that it's going to take us a while. You are almost resolved with this, finally. That'll free up those two crews. You guys are not too far off. You're dealing with that. That's actually not going to be... I don't think it'll be transportable. I don't think that's transportable either, so I think we're good there. Uh, we do have a childbirth here. Great, of all things. That's you. I guess go help with the childbirth. Speed up a little bit here. All right, these guys are ready and available. So let's spread these guys out a little bit. This thing's still taking us a long, long time. Pretty long. Let's send the other fire truck there. All right, we do have hurt by rubble. Our technical crew can go help with that. Uh, this police car probably help a little bit. I'll send you up there too, just to be safe. All right, so we got the gunshot victim. They're done down there. What is this? This is a construction incident. You can help with that. For now, uh, you come help with that as well. You can, you can help with a little bit of the medical stuff. All right, finally finished that one. What we got here? We got a trapped in elevator. You're going there. You're going there. You guys are free. I guess one of you guys go help trapped in the elevator for now. These are being resolved. Hurt by rubble. What are the orders? 10-4. We need an ambulance here. All right, medical transport. You go help with that. How many do we need? Um, didn't say. I'll send the one for now. You head up that way just in case you're needed there as well. Guess we caught the bomber, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Illegal racing. Great. Go deal with that, my friend. Just in case you go help cut them off on the front side of things. I mean, this is an actual fire. You go help with the fire there. Alright, we got here. We got heart attack. Um, you go help with the heart attack if you can. We got the, the place to be able to help with what's left here. You're going up there. One of you guys come up to the hard tech. I'm going to have to transport him. Case resolved. Those are really racing guys are fast. Just one. W racing with just one car, huh? That that uh, it's a very lonely race right there. Problem with racing with only one person is you always win, but you also always lose. All right, what we got here? We got... All right, you're almost done with the medical side of things, which we do need to get a medical transport there. Actually, you don't even bother. Helicopter can make it there way quicker. Um, and then... This one's being resolved. 27 seconds. This one's being resolved. 60 seconds. It's not... Oh, he does need medical transport. Oh, we got somebody going there. Okay. Actually, you know what? You're pretty close there. Use the over there. That's going to be fine. And everything else is resolved. Cool. Requesting medical. Case solved. Injured on board. Injured on board. 
Not bad. We're done here. Did we have any negatives? I mean, even with the bombs going off, no negatives. Plus 30 from the bomber itself. That was huge reputation. Getting We caught him pretty quickly there. I mean, he had two bombs go off. We found the third. We weren't able to dispose of it quickly enough. I mean, it probably doesn't mean we need to bomb squad at this point. Uh, I hadn't even considered that that would be a thing that we need. But that's something to think about. We got lots of injuries. Lots and lots and lots of injuries. That's the big problem. This is... We got a lot. But at the same time, we it cost us a lot. Pretty long episode, but that was a pretty... <laughs> kind of got a little, a little exciting there for a bit. Uh, when we come back, we'll figure out how to deal with the injuries. Figure out how to deal with all this stuff. And go from there. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you. And goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.